right, Genevieve, I've got an interesting topic for you that we need to unpack and look at together. Okay. It's called Dating Problems. And um, this writer has written into us. She says, as a vegan, I have always wanted to try to date another vegan, but there are very few, especially sane Interesting. Now that I'm eating meat, nearly all people are vegan or plant-based on Bumble. Does the universe dislike me? Should I be open to dating plant-based or are they going to spoil eating out as I expect? Hmm. Okay. Thank you. Hang on. Writing. I'm a little bit confused. She's vegan or she's a meat eater now? (laughs) Or she was vegan and now she's a meat eater? Is that... Can I tell you that you're right? I, I, I was kind of like, are you, are you changing your eating styles because you're hoping to like, where did that come from? You were vegan and yeah. then you changed and now everybody's vegan. Where is the value you're placing in your lifestyle? And why does it matter what everybody else is doing? I don't know. Is that a thing? <laughs> I think it goes back to my superficial ladder. Yes. <laughs> Let's climb and it. It it is. And and mm. and what, what she's doing is she's climbing up this ladder and putting mm. putting pressure on herself to find to fit in, actually. Not even yeah. find someone that fits in with her. She's trying to fit in with other people. Sounds and like, yeah. that's never going to work. I think first yeah. of all, she needs to un- uncover and discover who she really is. Number one, yeah. <laughs> are you vegan or are you a meat eater? I'm really confused. No. Um, um, and if, if I'm confused, <laughs> if you're confused, Heather, other people are going to be confused. And she's confused. She's clearly so who confused. She's repre- who is she representing when she's going on dates? Which one is she? And so maybe they're confused. And yeah, it just it's it was very confusing reading that. I think I think she just needs to accept that she's a flexitarian. Oh, is that a thing? Apparently so. I love that. Yeah. Oh, that's kind, that. of what, kind of what I say. I'm a flexitarian. I eat what I want when I want. Yes. <laughs> if I want a vegetarian day, I'll have a vegetarian day. If I want a vegan day, I'll have a vegan day. If I fancy a bit of meat or fish or whatever, I'll have it. Right. So I think that's what a flexitarian is. I don't know. Or maybe well, that's love- just normal. I don't know. <laughs> but I think if you just kind of take that word apart and look at the very first part, which is flexible I -hmm. think that maybe that could be a piece of advice that we give to her which is be flexible when I mean does it really matter what what somebody else eats or they're no and also if someone's placing so much importance on that Mm -hmm. where are the other values where are we bringing in the other values (laughs) there are more important things than what somebody eats Mm -hmm. And, you know, you have families that are made up of people with intolerances and allergies and they all bottle along really well. So I don't know. Sometimes I think people put too much emphasis Mm -hmm. on Mm -hmm. certain things and place too much importance on it. Mm -hmm. Whereas already she's coming confused as to what she is. Yeah. So. Does it, does it matter? Really? Right. Does it matter? Would it offend her if someone sat in front of her and had a big juicy steak or had some juicy mushrooms? <laughs> you know, it's right. I, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, it's, it is a lifestyle mm-hmm. question mm-hmm. and it is one of those things that comes up all the time. And I think my question is, is how important is it to you? If it's a value that's really, really important and you're a staunch vegan and you couldn't possibly be with anyone else who's not vegan because you wouldn't want meat or fish in your home and, and, and other products that, you know, you don't believe in or mm. it doesn't work for you, mm. then yes, that's where it becomes important. But when you're as flexible as she sounds mm. and as confused as she sounds, I don't think she should lead with that when it comes to dating. Yeah. I love that you, you had said, and we talk about this so often, um, values and, and what I love you did there, you kind of took two different values placed on, on, you know, eating and that lifestyle. If it really is 
what's that important to you? What you have in your home? I've heard people saying, you know, do I contribute to, um, you know, this and that based on what I eat and, and I can't manage or handle, um, animal cruelty. And, and that is something that is extremely important to me. Then I think, absolutely it's worthy of looking at when you are selecting a partner will they respect that in me do they understand where i'm coming from but the fact that this woman is so interchangeable and then getting frustrated that it feels like okay now i eat meat but now everybody else is doing the thing that i was doing before so now what do i do i think you just let it lie and just let it be and start looking at what is the one thing that i will not tolerate or be flexible on. Mm -hmm. And so what values do you think that she should, how do you think she should start exploring those values within herself? What do you think that she could do here? Well, I think the first thing is she needs to understand really what her key values are. Right. And this is something we talk about all the time um, is what are values? And right. a lot of people don't even know what their values are or what a value is. Mm -hmm. And it, it's something that we explore with our clients so that they're very aware of what their key life values are. Mm -hmm. We have we have all sorts of different key life values from family, from intimacy, from work, from religion. Mm -hmm. There's there's all sorts that people will live by. And you've got to understand what what, what is important in your life. Mm -hmm. Are you very family orientated? Are you very work orientated? Are you very money focused? Um, are you very driven and it's career all, all, all the way? Because if you don't meet someone who's aligned with those values, it's going to be problematic later on down the line. Even to get off the starting block mm -hmm. is going to be problematic. And you don't have to have the same values, but you have to respect, understand and be aligned with the same values. Absolutely. Um, so I think that's probably the most important thing here. And if if it is food, and food can be for religious reasons, it can be for medical reasons, it can be for moral values, moral right. reasons. Mm -hmm. um, and if food is your key value and it's important to you, then it's yeah. really important that you, you lead with that when you're looking mm -hmm. to meet somebody. Mm -hmm. Just be honest and authentic about who you are. But mm -hmm. she needs to really understand who she is. And exactly. she needs to not beat herself up if she's discovered that she doesn't want to be vegan anymore. It doesn't suit her lifestyle or it's not what she wants. Then it really doesn't matter. And it might be that she meets someone who's vegan and it encourages her to go back to being a vegan again. I love who that. Knows? Yes. <laughs> When we have somebody that that we share those values with and that we we really understand each other on such an intimate and deep level, don't then those things that are a little bit more superficial, the things that do flex and change and and we would like them, but are they really important in understanding, you know, um the relationship and being able to trust each other and being able to be, you know, just just all of the good stuff. Isn't it then? we do become flexible. I will tell you again, you know, this is just my personal story. I was never a big meat eater, never growing up. If there was chicken on the plate, I'd go around it. Right. It's just not a big meat eater, not because of anything other than I just didn't like it. I have been married for almost 20 years to a man that is so passionate about barbecue and meat. He is a meat and potatoes guy. And, and you know, yeah. I'll try it. I'm like, hey, this is really good. And, but I'm, you know, but he understands he's got to have his friends over if he really wants to have a gigantic steak. Yeah. Right. And that's fine. He loves me for it. He doesn't harp on me and I don't harp on him because other things are so valued and so important in our relationship that that's just the fun stuff. That's the stuff that we can see eye to eye with and, you know, just have fun with. Who cares? But you've given a, prime and a beautiful example how mm. you can be in the same space and not be offended by each other's right. lifestyle choices right and it is about that it's about this is his lifestyle choice he's a big meat eater your lifestyle choice is you'll eat around the meat right. <laughs> and, and it doesn't create a problem within your relationship mm. and mm. i think that is that's the crux of this right. really Absolutely. is, you know, are you setting yourself up to succeed in a relationship or are you creating problems when they don't need to be there? Absolutely. So letter writer, you have some homework. Yes. <laughs> you can definitely take one of our values quizzes 
Let us help you and realign those important factors. We intensely, Genevieve, in our business, we, you're right, we intensely look at and educate and, you know, evaluate values because we know the importance of not only finding a partner, but actually succeeding in long-term, happy, healthy relationships. And so we analyze that even upon intake in our matchmaking services, because we know it is so important. So let us help you. Let us help you by, you know, let's analyze your values. Let's analyze what's most important to you. And let's work our way away from what everybody else is doing and start focusing in on you and what's most important to you. Because then I think you'll find somebody that equally matches that. And you'll just be happy as a clam, whether you eat them or not. You know? <laughs> Who knows? Who will so, be happier than the clan that you're eating? There you go. Exactly. <laughs> so, all right. Well, thank you so much. And again, we love your letters. Please send in any and all questions, vegan, you know, intimacy, uh, friendships, relationships. We love to help. And if you're interested in learning more about our matchmaking services, please go to matchmakingcompany.com. And of course, like and subscribe to this channel because we got lots of goodies for you and a lot more interesting stories and, and letters to read. So thank you so much, Genevieve. And, and yeah, until we chat again, I'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.